and welcome to Gretel's Candy House. This is in Surfside Beach, just south of Myrtle Beach proper, on the south side of Highway 544, but fronting Highway 17. If you're not from here and the road names don't mean anything to you, this is basically across the street from Ocean Lakes Campground. As you can tell by the architecture and the theme of the building, we're talking candy with this place. Now, Myrtle Beach is not a stranger to candy themed storefronts. We have It's Sugar, we have I Heart Sugar, and a half a dozen other candy themed shops in the area. If you visit a few of these shops, you'll see a theme that they all have merchandise with their store name. They'll all have toys, plushes, different impulse buys for children specifically. But this store, it may have those things that I just mentioned as you see here, but this store is a little bit different. It has a delineator, and that is it actually has a legitimate eclectic selection of candies. A lot of the other shops are frills and pop factor and shock factor for some of them. Some of them have some very interesting art and themes on the walls that are a little heavy on the innuendos. I'll just put it that way. And it just makes me question the integrity of the store. What are you actually selling us? Anyway, enough of that. This place actually has candy and it has a good selection of candy. A lot of stuff that you typically don't see around here in a convenience store. And they've got, you know, poop candy, which nowadays that's just the thing, isn't it? So as you can see here, candy cigarettes, lollipops, and I almost picked up one of these, Poofy Pop. It's a marshmallow lollipop. A lot of really interesting stuff. I really dig this candy store. Like I said, it's a candy store. And some of those other shops that I mentioned earlier, I don't know if I'd classify them as just a candy store. They're more of a souvenir shop that has a candy theme. This place is a legitimate candy shop. They've even got fudge, $5 for a quarter pound. If you're familiar with the Goo Goo Cluster, you know that they're good. Every time I see these, I think of Tennessee, where they originated from. Here's a wall of the unique candies. Everything from gummy sushi to, what else did they have? Gummy noodles, gummy pizzas, gummy hamburgers, gummy tacos, all sorts of crazy stuff. Gummy hot dog. Pretty much anything dash gummy they probably have on this wall for you to tear open and try out even gummy teeth. That's a little, that's very disturbing actually, but fun nonetheless. Like I mentioned at the very beginning, all these shops do have toys and whatnot. Impulse buys like plushes. As we pan over, you can see it's not the biggest commercial space, but it does the job. Aside from candy, if you have a real sweet tooth, in the same parking lot as this candy shop, there is a ice cream parlor. So you can get some ice cream, get some candy. And if you're staying at Ocean Lakes across the street, you probably do all of this with your golf cart. Just be very, very, very careful if you cross Highway 17 in your golf cart. Thank you for joining me on this 
exploration of Gretzel's Candy House in Surfside Beach. Like I said, across from Ocean Lakes Campgrounds. If you like this video and other Myrtle Beach stuff, check out the channel, check out the playlists. There might be something there that piques your interest. All right, everybody. Until next time, stay safe and take it easy.